I've just come from the colorectal trial session today and there were two interesting trials relating to a very important research topic in colorectal cancer and that's the role of neoadjuvant chemotherapy. So we're aware that there are a number of phase two trials that are encouraging that show that neoadjuvant chemotherapy has lower toxicity and may well be a, a good approach for patients. But what we really need is phase three clinical trial data. So there are two trials presented today, one in colon cancer, the Foxtrot trial, and one in rectal cancer, the Rapido trial. So taking the colon cancer trial first, Foxtrot is a great success of an international trial led from Birmingham by Dion Morton and colleagues, run internationally and has successfully recruited 1,050 patients. And these patients were randomized two to one in favor of a six week course of neoadjuvant fluoroprimidine oxaliplatin chemotherapy, as opposed to going straight to surgery and having their standard adjuvant combination chemotherapy postoperatively. The important messages from this trial are that there is good evidence of surgical safety. So there was no difference of surgical morbidity between the neoadjuvant arm and the standard arm. There was no increase in perioperative mortality and there was no evidence of cancer progression in the neoadjuvant arm. So they've already published uh, pilot data showing evidence of downstaging. So I think this is a really interesting trial and the current results suggest that neoadjuvant chemotherapy is safe. We will have to wait a little bit longer for the long-term outcome to determine whether there is a long-term benefit of that approach. The second trial was the Rapido trial and this was a study led by the Netherlands, supported by Sweden, Spain and other countries. It's another example of a successful international collaboration. So they were able to randomize 920 patients between two strategies. The control arm represented fluoroprimidine chemoradiotherapy using capecitabine and radiotherapy 50.4 gray. The experimental arm used a different radiotherapy approach of 5 gray times 5, 25 gray in five fractions, followed by 18 weeks of combination chemotherapy with capecitabine and oxaliplatin. We learned that there was an increase in the serious adverse events seen in the experimental arm, but this was at a rate that is very acceptable for routine clinical practice. We saw good compliance with neoadjuvant chemotherapy, and again and importantly, we saw no evidence of any difference in surgical morbidity or mortality, and we saw a very low rate of treatment-related mortality from chemotherapy below 1%. So the initial information from Rapido is that neoadjuvant chemotherapy in a multi-center phase three trial is safe. The surgical morbidity is not increased, but we will have to wait for the long-term outcome data to determine how significant this trial and also the Foxtrot trial will be in terms of long-term guidelines and clinical practice.